Welcome back everybody to another episode of some building big with germ. How's everybody doing today? Today we have finished the castle for the most part I mean there's still some interiors and stuff to do but for the most part we are finished with this castle and we are moving on today but before we do that, I got a couple things I gotta show you that I've done since the last episode. So let's come down here and we can take a look at what we've done. Let's see, do I have any boats in this chest? No, I don't, okay. Let's go ahead and craft one real quick. There we go, and let's take a look at this, at this castle from a little bit of a distance. All right, this should be good enough, and there it is. Take a look at that. So obviously, I've been doing quite a bit of work since the last episode, trying to get these cliffs finished up, uh, trying to get the rest of the walls detailed out. I actually just went through and added in these little like details in the towers here. But I think it's looking so, so good. I'm loving it. I'm glad we finally got it done. It's not just floating here in the sky anymore. It is kind of floating in the water a little bit, as you can see here. But that's something we can always add later on. I don't think it's really that big of a deal right now that it's just floating in the water here. You honestly can't really tell that much with all this seagrass here or whatever it's called, the kelp. Plus, when you turn on shaders, you honestly can't even tell that it's just floating there in the water uh, because of the reflections, and you can't really see in most shader packs underwater. One last thing I just thought of, though, that I want to add before we move on to the, I think, steampunk area uh, for this episode, is I want to come up there and add in a few, a few flags hanging over the towers there. So let's see if we can get some wool together and get that going. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and dye a few of these blue. And let me in here, Let's see if I can get in here without escaping any. A few of these blue and a few of these yellow. And I think, uh, maybe a couple more blue. I think that should be about even. Let's go ahead and shear all of these. And there we go. Also, if you're wondering why these sheep have horns, uh, this is a part of my custom mobs texture pack that's not released yet. Well, I guess it is released, but it's a very old version and looks nothing like what I'm looking at right now. But if you want that, I should be releasing it hopefully fairly soon. I've got a few more things I need to do, like I need to redo a couple of these textures in the uh, in the cows. Like this one, this one looks awful. I might just remove that, honestly, completely. Uh, but, yeah, if you want that, keep an eye out for it. I'll probably make a post about it at some point in the future once I do release that. All right, there we go. I think that hopefully should be enough for us. I got probably, I mean, way too much yellow wool for sure. Uh, but hopefully that'll be enough light blue. If not, we got some still over there, so we can always come back to get that. All right, let's get up here and start working on some of these flags. Before we do that though, there is a couple things I've done up here inside the castle that I want to show you. Obviously, well, but first of all, there are some things that are unfinished, obviously, uh, but a lot of this unfinished stuff, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing over on Twitch for a live stream. Uh, before, I'm, I'm going to be trying to get all this stuff done before episode 250. Uh, but for now, it's just going to be unfinished and obviously all the interiors, well not all of them, but some of the interiors aren't finished either. Uh, but that stuff we will get done very, very soon, uh, but just not in video because it's just going to take way too long. Alright, let's go ahead and climb up here if we can. What is going on there? There we go. All right, so we're gonna try to do something similar to this. So let's go, did I have like a pattern I went with? It seems like I tried to kind of go with a line, a yellow line going through the middle and then light blue on the, the top and the bottom of it. So let's see if we can kind of pull that off here again. We'll do something like this, yellow line there, like that. Maybe coming down like this and then let's get one all the way down here like that maybe see how that looks all right let's take a step back and see how that looks okay yeah that's looking pretty good i like that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add those i think on every tower uh every tower that has a fence post on top of it like that and then we'll come back and check it out after we get all that done
All right, there we go. Got the flags all up on most of the towers. I did leave a few empty, like this one right here. Uh, felt like it might be a little too many having one there, and there's another tower right there. And then I think I missed one right there as well. Just didn't want to overdo it with the flags, but got them on most of them, and I think it's looking pretty cool. But we are going to be leaving this place behind now. We're going to be heading off to the steampunk area to do a little bit of work out there. And obviously, like I kind of mentioned earlier, there is still work to do here. Uh, but it's just stuff that isn't really going to make for good content on YouTube. Like this part right here, I want to just tear down. Uh, that's not, I mean, that's not going to be fun to watch on YouTube. <laughs> Um, and then I want to add, I want to redo some of the terraforming down here, make it a little bit nicer, add some more trees around here, and then all this stuff needs reworked over here. I'm going to probably just get rid of all the structures around here and just make it uh, kind of like a cliff side on either side. So yeah, just some boring stuff. But if you do want to see me do that stuff, go ahead and go follow me over on Twitch. I'll be doing it at some point in the future. I don't have like a schedule or anything that I'm going to be streaming at, but uh, yeah, go be sure to follow me over on Twitch and you'll be notified when I do go live. But all right, we are going to head off now and I think I'm going to go ahead and fly there instead of just going through the nether. So I will see you guys there in just a minute. All right, I believe, yeah, we should be coming up on the city right about now. And man, there is a lot of unfinished stuff here. So if you were here a couple episodes ago and uh, were here for when I talked about my plans for the rest of these last few episodes before episode 250, then you probably remember I was talking about coming back to these places and finishing each each area that I haven't finished before episode 250 so we can do something new after that. So my plans have changed a little bit. I do still want to try to work on finishing a, a bunch of projects in this world. Uh, like we just m mostly finished the Diorite Castle. I think we can probably finish off the Tuscan City area over there. But stuff like this, I don't think, I've got some big ideas for this area. And there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this all in, I mean, basically one episode. And since I can actually stream now, my plans have kind of changed a little bit. And uh, I can actually just work on a lot of this unfinished stuff on stream. So I think today we are going to be working on trying to finish up a bunch of these buildings that aren't finished, like the back side of this, which is the iron shop, I think. Yeah, uh, it's just completely, completely unfinished. So I do want to try to work on finishing some of this stuff up today. And then in the future, we can come back here and continue working on this area, uh, maybe in future episodes, but at least at the very least on stream. So I think what I need to do now is get some materials together. And then uh, we'll come back and start working on some, finishing up some of this stuff and maybe build a couple more houses along the road here.
All right, we're back and we finally got these the backs of these buildings at least closed in for now. I don't have many details or anything on most of these yet, but I at least got them closed in, which is nice. That that actually helps a lot with the the view of the city. Yeah, that's looking really cool over there. Once I get these buildings on this side done and this big building over here done, uh, it's going to be it's going to be really cool looking. I wasn't able to get this big building done today though because I had planned out the way the building was going to look but i completely forgot about the placement of this the iron farm oh hello so i'm gonna have to rework my plans for this and try to figure out something different here uh but we'll get that worked out soon very very soon i think for today though that's gonna have to do it for this for this build we'll we'll definitely be coming back here in the beginning of the next episode do a little bit more work uh but i think we're gonna head over here for most of the next episode and try to work on this Tuscan area quite a bit. There's quite a few things here I wanna to try to knock out in the next one, uh, like building up some of these buildings I already have planned out. And then maybe do a little bit of terraforming over here, trying to clean up this spot here and maybe get some stairs coming up to this uh, ruined building up here. I think that would be pretty cool, but I'm excited to get back to this area. If you have any ideas for anything I should add here, let me know in the comments down below. I do plan on, this is not going to be completely finished uh, in the next episode or the episode after. What? Episode? What, what am I saying it like that for? Uh, but yeah, we are definitely going to be coming back to this area in the future. I've got some big ideas and big plans for something to add over here, kind of as an expansion to this, this city here. I've always wanted to do some Mediterranean buildings along the sea, and I think this could be a pretty cool spot to do that. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I think that could be a pretty cool, pretty cool little project to work on. But yeah, we do have a lot of stuff here we need to work on. I don't think if I do do all these other planned out buildings, I don't think I'll be able to get to the arena in the next episode uh, because that is a lot of stuff that I would want to do. So it's either all these buildings uh, and leave the arena unfinished or do the arena and then leave all of these buildings unfinished. Of course, at some point in the future, they'll get finished, but uh, yeah, I just don't don't have the time for one. I don't have the time to do that for one episode. Honestly, I think filling in all these other buildings that I have planned out would probably be the better move uh, just so we could get the city more filled out uh, for the world download. I think that would I think that would be a better choice, to be honest. Uh, but let me know what you think. Let me know. I mean, the arena would be a really cool build to do but I think that would be better as a, a thing we do whenever we eventually like fully come back to this area. Then of course we got the castle up here. Let's go ahead and check this out. This is one of my most viewed videos still, me starting this castle, which is so crazy to me. Such a weird random, random thing to blow up. Uh, I think it's sitting, last time I checked, I think it's sitting at almost 70,000. It might be over that by now, uh, but so crazy. That was such a crazy time on my channel. I think it'd be really cool. Really cool to get back to this area and do some more work. Yeah, so cool. So, so cool. Uh, but that's going to do it. I'm just kind of rambling now. That's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.